we've got more information on the Amazon's new low cost store. Um, so this is according to, and I'm going to unfortunately probably butcher his name, but Joe Zass is in <laughs> Kanas. Yeah. Or, sorry about that. That's like a Greek name or something. Yeah. yeah, but it says uh, Amazon's new low cost store aims to attract budget conscious shoppers by removing brand names and pricing all items under $20. This model leverages Amazon supply chain in China, bypassing customs tariffs for slower nine to 11 day deliveries and offering returnless refunds to minimize cost. So a lot of uh, details here, as you can see, but I think uh, a couple of the two big ones there that I noted was that there's going to be no brand names and everything has to be under 20 days, uh, $20. And it's going to take uh, almost around two weeks for delivery and you do not have to return items. They're going to just give you your money back if you don't like it. So uh, initial thoughts on that one, Noah. I think a lot of people are stuck on this whole Timu, Sheen, TikTok shop hype train with all of the kind of really low priced sellers. It, it reminds me a lot of, you know, nearly a decade ago when like AliExpress was coming up. Right. Mm -hmm. And the there was another one it was like Waze or whatever it was. Right. And so it, I think it honestly is just kind of if somebody's planning on buying something on Timu, I think they may switch over to Amazon's low cost, but from the aspect of it affecting the general seller at this point in time on like regular Amazon, I just, I don't see it as that big of a, that big of a hindrance. It definitely is something to be worried about because, you know, uh, I wonder how many people who are selling under $20 are going to try and switch over there. But realistically, uh, you know, nobody's going to buy a $20 futon and those that will buy that $20 <laughs> futon uh, should know they're not going to get a quality product and they probably also know that so uh, I don't know I, I, I think that it's a little bit overhyped uh, I get why Amazon's doing it just you know take out the you know fish they're kind of growing when you can but I don't think for the average seller it's gonna make that big of a difference you're not going to see that huge of a sales decrease if you have a really well branded product that is 1899 you know you're not going to mm -hmm. see someone start switching over to some no name brand instead of yours that is you know wasn't already a competitor i should say yeah jackson what do you think it makes me think of a lot of things but the first thing i would say is it honestly just kind of makes me sad cuz it's like the the state of the american consumer in a sense it's almost like we're going back in time where you know, China has become a man like a manufacturing powerhouse of a lot of really quality stuff. It's just the reality, right? And it's almost like because of economic factors and customer psychology and whatever else, we're we're reversing to like earlier times when China was known as the cheap, crappy manufacturer of things, and that's becoming popularized because maybe what is my second thought, which I know it's faux pas to get political, but this is like a perfect meme scenario to hear someone like Kamala Harris saying, we're proud of Bidenomics because <laughs> it's like, why is this even a thing? It's because people are struggling. And so yep. they're, they're forced to go down this road when I think most people probably wouldn't. Right. Anyway, the other thing that comes to mind is um, like, isn't the, isn't the loophole on, you know, China drop shipping, shipping costs getting closed? I thought I heard that was getting closed. Is, is this some secondary level of it that I'm not aware of? Uh, that's a good question because yes, we did report on that, that they, they're closing that loophole. Um, it does note here, you know, that they will be able to avoid tariffs. At least he does yeah. in his post. Um, so I, I'll, I'll have to look at it real quick and see if I can find something that uh, maybe there's another level of it that if it's under twenty dollars, that might be yeah, why maybe yeah the twenty dollar deal is there. But I'll I'll yeah. uh, ask ChatGPT here and uh, get back to you. Yeah, cool. Yeah, the other the other thought is just like it's uh, oh I'm losing my train of thought now. It might have disappeared. So you remember there was a time where where Amazon was cracking down 
on if, if you were drop shipping on your listing, right? Now it's like, they're basically saying, here's the, the proper place to drop ship it, it. So it's almost like on one side, they're saying, this is bad. You shouldn't <laughs> participate in this. It's like, well, actually we're going to make this little arena where, where we're cool with this, even though it's just like, it's lame. You know, I, in my mind, I'm just, this whole market, I just sort of personally philosophically disagree with it in the sense that this is not healthy consumerism not not that there necessarily is healthy consumerism <laughs> but but we all make our livings off of consumerism right so it's kind of like there is you know you guys probably seen the snl skit about like shine and temu timu right and and how it's I like not. you know chemicals and all sorts of not desirable things being found in these cheapo products that are basically, it's like, you're just buying off of like the gray black market, almost in a sense of, of regulation and safety and stuff like this. And so I'm personally paranoid about bringing any of these products into my house. Cause it's like, okay, is it going to have like 10 times as much of forever chemicals uh, coating it in the, in the manufacturing process compared to some, that's just me though. Right. So I think so that, the really interesting thing here, though, that we've kind of skipped on a little bit is specifically that bullet about the fulfillment fees and how they're essentially kind of saying how that's going to work. And that, mm -hmm. I think, is the most interesting part mm -hmm. of them saying, yeah, exactly, where it's, you know, 50 cents for products, four ounce and less uh, under three dollars, 99 cents for apparel like this. Super cheap. This, yeah. yeah, super cheap, but also makes me almost wonder, has Amazon already done essentially that kind of calculation, seeing how much market share for under $20 items mm -hmm. uh, these different sites have kind of taken and mm -hmm. are now just realizing that, you know, I, I mean, it's no joke that in the last, I would say, five, six, seven years, you know, many, many, many people are getting just, you know, demolished by Chinese brands. Uh, on the platform and whatnot. It's because they can just sell it for cheaper. Now, I don't think that that aspect of Amazon is going to go away just mm -hmm. because they do this, especially because they have the generic now. I'm almost wondering if like this is a play for them simply just of a, we realize we can get you know these other people on platforms and we're going to push this very heavy with our new TikTok shop partnership and go from there, right? Like, I'd be yeah. kind of curious if that's entirely what this is.